hey loves welcome or welcome back for another home tour video so i wasn't really planning to upload this in youtube but i did it anyway so please stay tuned and i hope you enjoy watching love you guys so me and my husband took two weeks of holiday leave just to get all the things that we need to do at home like water blasting repainting reflooring reorganizing so yes we did it all and just a bit of a disclaimer guys that this video hasn't been filmed properly because i wasn't really planning to upload this in youtube but i did it anyway so yeah but i hope you can still get a bit of an inspiration and you can see of all the things that we did at home so this is the the before reveal of our home before we re did the repainting and reflooring so yes i'm gonna show you more so please stay tuned all right this is the state of our lounge at the moment so we put all the stuff away so we can start repainting the walls and then do reflooring so we're trying to move all the furnitures out to our deck and yeah um husband just trying to get all the electrical electrical stuff as well so yes you can see um that's how it looks at the moment so it's gonna be a big work for us for over two weeks of holiday leave from work so that decor on the wall i need to get rid of that before we do the repainting and as you can see on the wall there's a lot of dust and it's pretty obvious that it's really dirty and the paint the old paint is we don't like it because it's kind of like a light brown color and we want to change repaint it to an off-white color So here we are trying to cover all our furnitures using this what we called drop sheets. So, you know, just to avoid it, avoid it getting dirty um, when we do the repainting. So next is we make sure that we clean the walls, make sure that we wash it off before we do the repainting. What a So hubby just finished repainting the ceiling as you can see that it is now clean and white so the next thing we need to do is to mask it up so we can proceed uh, repainting the wall. Ooh. 
Evet. Ve Bira. Bira. Evet. I just worry about the wall though. And here, Habi just refilling the paint. And just like that, the painting job or repainting job is all done. All right, so this is the outcome after painting the wall and the ceiling. So the ceiling is pure white paint and the wall is kind of like off white but we cannot really tell the difference there is a difference but not as much difference so here it is guys we finally did it so our furniture is just every are everywhere at the moment because we still need to redo our floor so as you can see it's so yucky and we need to replace that yucky part and so is here <laughs> Taking a video again, <laughs> just to show the underneath part. Look at the difference guys, this is so black, 
And that one is clear. The one I just water blast. So get to do this part here. It's so dirty. So I've done the almost half part of our deck yesterday. So as you can see, there's a big difference. So I just water blast our table. So yeah, it's really satisfying. I remember I've done it a number of times already, so I know roughly how long it takes. Always in luck. So good thing that it's not too sunny today guys but I have to wear this long sleeve top though just to protect my skin and I have to wear a hat. Alright guys I am finally done water blasting the front house and of course our whole deck. So I just finished the steps. Hubby uh, helped me some on the deck while he was having a break from his woodwork so as you can see so this the steps are still wet but the deck the, the the floor deck is now dry and as you can see that it's really clean it's definitely so you notice it was really dark before we clean it and now it's a lot cleaner and lighter so it is really satisfying and i'm so happy so now i am ready to do the back part of the house so last time the edges of our rooftop has green molds and now as you can as you notice that it's looking a lot better so yeah all right so the next part that i'm going to be doing so i've done the front house so the next part i'm going to be doing is this part here so i'm just going to show you the how it looks like it's not really dirty but still needs to be cleaned and then i'm going to show you the back part of the house so as you can see I'm going to water blast this part and as you can see the edges of the rooftop there's a lot of dirt so then hopefully I'm going to I can get this done by today here the garage as well and the this part then the last part so look at this guys it's dirty I don't know if you can see but it's dirty And the last part will be the front part of our garage. So this is going to be the last part that I do the water blasting. So let's do this. Okay guys, so I've done this part here. So as you can see, it's cleaner than before. Now, the next part that I'm going to water blast is the most dirty part is the back, back part of our house. So this is the back of our kitchen and I'm going to show you how dirty it is. So as you can see, we move all our stuff because we have a shelf, the back door shelf and all the stuff like plants and gardening stuff So we, and rubbish bins. So we just move all the stuff from there to here so I can water blast the wall properly. So as you can see, this side it's super super dirty, so I'm going to water blast all of this dirt. 
I'm gonna include this part here. So this is our mud area or our back door area. And look at that. And so was here. So this is the back of our laundry. So that's our laundry area there. And this is the back. So we put the old washing machine. So we have two old washing machines that we put in here for a while. And look, it's the dirt is just accumulated for for a while. So yeah, look at that. So I'm gonna try my best to get rid of all this dirt by water blasting it. So yeah. So imagine guys, if you need to get someone to do water blasting in your house, it'll cost tons of dollars. So I'm so glad that me and my husband um, just spent over two weeks of holiday leave just to do stuff at home. And it's really worth it. We are so proud. Look at our dick, I love it. It looks like kind of like a brand new dick. So while I'm so busy doing some water blasting um, outside the house, my husband is also busy doing some woodworking here inside the house, replacing our damaged flooring. So that's what he did. So the ones that really damage is this part here, which you can see that there's a new one there already and he's almost done. So, yeah, well done. <laughs> Cheers, honey. Yay. There it is, guys. We just put the stuff back together here at the lounge, and our coffee table is still a bit messy, but look at that new set up sort of like a new setup Whew, all right so um it's time for us to rest i'm gonna show more video soon and for now we need to relax so cheers any cheers for that <laughs> so the next day after is a bit of a home tour All right, love, so we've done the reflooring. We changed the damaged floor. We've done repainting, but what we haven't done yet is to do the re-carpeting, but that's going to be on the next holiday, maybe. So we definitely love the new paint and this is the new setup and we definitely love it. It feels so refreshing and satisfying. We are so happy. So we still have a lot of things to do at home, like we still need to renovate our bathroom and our kitchen. But then, yeah, we are doing this one step at a time. This cupboard that I have my plants on used to be at our dining area below the window, but now we move it there close to our fireplace area. So yeah, so there's still a lot of things that we need to organize, guys. So this is just the start. <laughs> Having a home is a never-ending responsibility, and this is just our start. So it just never stops, guys. But it's really satisfying when you see little progress or small wins that yes, there is something that you improve at home. It is such a different feeling. <laughs>
showing you our deck guys so look how light it is now it's not dark our deck is not dark anymore after i did the water blast and yes this is the back part of our house that i just water blast so it needs repainting guys as you can see but it's a lot cleaner than before so i was able to get rid of the green molds and the dark the dark spots and dirt there so i am so happy and so proud of myself I also did a bit of water blasting on our fence, so that part of our fence there, but I haven't done it perfectly, so I just get rid of the major dirt, so I, we still have our tools here on our deck. So yes, and I keep showing you guys, so I'm so happy that I see my indoor plants again and display in our lounge area. So it is, I really love the new setup. So I love my uh, displaying my Monstera Deliciosa beside our TV. We also changed our light switches. So we switched to black color to contrast our wool and we actually love it. showing you our outdoor area so first up i'm showing you our new fence that we just placed up a few months ago so our old fence got completely damaged after cyclone gabriel hit in new zealand last year so that's our front um, gate on our driveway so that's our long driveway and we still need to fix our driveway though so as you can see um we're planning to concrete this area <laughs> soon next time so this is the area where we park our car it's a garage area and we still have a huge um space here at the back so yeah and we also um install a side gate there on our fence as a bit of a shortcut and we have my garden there and yeah i still need to do a lot of work in my garden or in our garden as you can see it's still not really clean as yet but i love my plants i love them so much they made me happy so yes um i am so happy showing you our outdoor area as well and i'll be taking you uh, the other side of our outdoor as well so please stay tuned so um this is our side yard there so and that's our deck area so we used to have a lot of big trees but we just get it all um cut down just to avoid disasters if there's another cyclone again forbid forbidden i don't want any cyclone again so this is our window part of our dining area and this is our back door area so it's our back wall uh, at our kitchen area so that's our kitchen window so we have rubbish bins here we have a water tap so yes and i just put all the things back there i just cleaned it up after i did a water blasting so that's kind of our like mud area so this is our back door area and we have our shoes there as well so we have old stuff here like our old um washing machine that we need to get rid of as well so we have a, a lawn mower there so yes and I have a few plants here, shelf. This is the garage door at the back. 
and I have a little greenhouse here that I don't really use for plants anymore. I just store all my potted plants up uh, pots, <laughs> pots there for my plants. And I have uh, we have um, pallet woods there for um, firewood, and we have lots of firewoods here. So those are the big trees, our big trees that we used to have before that we got it cut down uh, after the cyclone Gabriel. So this space here at the back, this huge space, we are planning to build another home or another house there. And hopefully we'll have money for that in the future. So I, as you can see, I have greenhouse there. So there's still a lot of things to do here. It still needs a lot of um, cleanup. So as you can see, so there's a lot of things that still needs to be done in uh, this area here. So that shed there, that's our firewood shed and we got a lot of bricks there as well at the back so we have our clothes line there so yes um i also want to take you to our greenhouse so we have compost bins there those three um this is our garden area as well and we still need to clean that up as we need to get that ready on the next spring season here in new zealand so my husband planted all of these shrubs here just to protect the greenhouse. So yes, um, let's see what's inside our greenhouse here. So we've got a big jar here. My husband put it there so we can store water. So we can use it watering the veggies that we have in this greenhouse. So this greenhouse hasn't really been done as yet. So we still have a lot of things to work on here. So we have uh, chilies here. So we have um, tomatoes here and we also have a few strawberries here. So yes, they are growing really fast. And here's our little, our puppy Lily. <laughs> All right, love. So yes, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Just showing you again my plants, showing you our deck again. So we've got a big outdoor umbrella here. So in the future, we really wanted to to have a rooftop, a roof, um, not a rooftop, roof on our deck. But yes, um, that's going to be another budget again. So hopefully we can get it done in the future. So we have, I have a side shelf there for our um, shoes, our gardening shoes. And I have a few plants there. Um, yeah, so... Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. And again, I do apologize for the not too good quality of the video. So I took um, some photos here. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and hope you got a bit of an inspiration if you're really into organizing your home and if you need to get a few things done at home. Hope you get some... Uh, a bit of an inspiration from this video. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.